Hey, 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 hey. So, I wanted to jump on here. I'm getting ready to go to brunch. And I'm going to brunch alone. It's something I do for myself on Sundays. I take time out and hang out with myself on Sundays. I don't need nobody to go out with. And so, that's not what I came on here to discuss. But what I want to bring up there are signs within your life that is trying to teach you something. And I feel as though you have to be able to recognize the signs. If you're not recognizing the signs, you have too much distraction going on in your life. <laughs> Let me explain what I mean. At least five years ago, might have been six, between five and six, I was staying at another property and my television, everything I had bought in the house was brand new. Everything, televisions, appliances, everything was brand new. And the television that was in my room, I would say I had the television for about two years. I had the television for about two years and it stopped playing. One morning I woke up, I turned my TV on, went on about my day, and it just went off. I didn't understand why. I didn't try to, this was in 2020, actually, now that I just remember, it was in 2020. I didn't try to fix it. I didn't call my son in to figure out what happened. I didn't even want to go get a new television. And so, I don't remember what month, I just remember the year. And then all of a sudden, the pandemic had hit, right? In 2020. And so I started gradually looking more onto YouTube. And different videos were coming up about all the ways that this world is distracting us. And it still hadn't sunk in about why my TV stopped playing. And I got more and more involved on listening to certain people on YouTube about what's happening and about just things in general as far as who you are and what you're put on this earth for and just things like that. I'm not going to get too deep into it, but you know what I'm trying to say. So, like I mentioned, I didn't want to get another television, and I'm so glad I didn't. I'm so glad I didn't, because the more and more that I think about it, it was a sign from God. You have to know the signs that God is giving you. If you don't know the signs that God is trying to give you, it's because you're too distracted. And so, like I said, I, I stopped talking to family. I stopped hanging around, you know, individuals, men and women. It's just, it's, it's not like it was in my heart that was telling me to stop doing this. It, you know, it was just like something just came over me where it just, just happened. I didn't wake up that morning saying, oh, I'm going to stop talking to my family and oh, I'm going to stop talking to so-and-so and I'm not, I don't want any, I don't want to talk to him as a boyfriend anymore. It's a sign that God gave me. And so he's, he knows, God knows that there's so much greater in all of us. And it's up to you 
to see and hear the signs. So I've been alone with myself and my eyes are watering, but I'm not about to cry because I'm too strong for that. But it's just, I've never explained this to anyone. So here I am explaining this to get, to let people know you have to know, you have to hear and see the signs. We get so caught up in watching television and scrolling through social media where you're not even trying to decide, maybe I shouldn't say decide, you're not realizing that you can be better. You can, you can be the, not the same, but you can do big things like everyone else is doing. You don't have to be the person that's always waking up, scrolling through the Instagram, wondering or thinking, how can I get like them or why I'm not like them? You, There's so many signs that I bet God has given you and you just missed it. But it's never too late. He's going to keep giving you signs, whether they're bad or good. Okay, yeah, I got the, you know, and I'm pretty sure there's signs that he's given me before my TV cut off. I just didn't know because I wasn't within myself. So God is going to help you to realize who you are. You just have to recognize the signs. Me being alone for all these years has helped me tremendously. You know, I'm so... I pick my my pick my friends and who I watch on social media, who I talk to every day. All of that is strategic. I am careful on what I put in my ears, in my mind, in my heart and soul. And if you do happen to catch me watching something negative or following someone that's just not good it's because I'm praying for you <laughs> I'm praying for that person or I'm looking at that person like wow they really don't see the good in themselves like she is so beautiful, but she doesn't see the good in herself. And there were so many people, there were so many times that I would hear, you're beautiful, you're beautiful, you're the one. You know, I didn't know. I just didn't know. So God had to wake me up by turning my television off. Do you hear me? He, he said, okay, you know what? I'm gonna break this TV. Well, she can't even turn the TV back on. Maybe that'll help her. Okay, so if what I did before didn't help her, okay, let me do this. Okay, if that didn't help her, what I did before, let me do this. He's gonna keep on teaching you until you get it so you have to realize the signs you can be in your 20s getting the signs and you don't know it because you're so busy distracted partying hanging around certain friends thinking you got to get your nails done thinking you got to get your hair done and there's nothing wrong with the material thing but there's there is something wrong with it when you only got a hundred dollars in your account or fifty dollars or five dollars then that's that's a problem because you're out here trying to look good for people who don't care about you sis you have to care about yourself first before you want to glam yourself all up and maybe you know maybe there are women that have to that have to start out 
before they get in. There, there are some women like that where they have to get shined up on the outside first before they go inside, inner. But the real reason, the, the way to do it, start inside. When you get it all inside and know who you are in the inside, the outside going to show too, honey. The outside going to come glowing too. Okay? You will be able to wear your natural hair. Ain't nothing wrong with wearing wigs and lace front. Ain't nothing wrong with getting your nails done. Have some money in your account, sis. But once you get that inner going, <laughs> Baby, you don't hold no grudges with nobody. You don't care what they saying about you. Get yourself right within. Everything else will fall in place. So like I said, I'm, I can easily go hang out by myself. I can sit at the bar and I'm going to take you along. But this video is not for that. You know, I woke up this morning. I didn't know I was going to make a video. When I went to bed last night, I didn't tell myself, okay, wake up. We're going to do this video. Like, as you can see, I made a video before. But I didn't wake up with the intentions on starting a video, putting this on my YouTube. But I said, you know what? I said, maybe these, maybe the people don't know how to grasp on the signs that God has given them. Who, honey, 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 honey. You have to, you have to see the sign. And if you don't think it's a sign, take it and grab it as though it is a sign. That's how I look at it too. The bad, the good, and the ugly. Okay, it may not look like a sign, but shoot, maybe it is a sign. I'm going to use it as a sign, okay? So, there's so much more within you that you just have to tap into it and let it shine. Bring it out. And I think a lot of it has to do with knowing who you are, being alone, to understand who you are. What do you like? I'm not liking what everybody on social media is doing. I'm not liking what people are doing at the workforce. I'm not worried about what so-and-so doing at the club I went to the other day. I don't go to club. I, I will, but I haven't been to a club in so long. But I'm just saying how other people may think I, me, I don't worry about what you do. I don't care what you do because I'm so at peace with myself. I like what I do. Okay? I love what I do. And that's how you have to be. Understand who you are. Be by yourself. All this trying to get attention. No. No, 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 no. You do that when you figure out who you are, okay? When you figure out who you are, then it's time to get some attention. If you want some attention, but better yet, what do you need the attention for? Just be yourself. The attention going to come to you. People going to attract to you because of your demeanor. They can see in your eyes and the way you walk and the way you carry yourself. Hmm. I just looked, let's just say, how some, some women think. I just looked her up and down, and she ain't say, and she ain't even look me up back, up and down back. Sis, come on now. That's how some of y'all do. And I know that's how some of y'all do. Because where I'm from, I know how females get down. Okay? It, it's, been a, it's been a role for me, baby. Okay? I never knew who I was. You usually, you look me up and down. I'm going to do the same thing back. The hell she looking me up and down for? I don't know her. But baby, when you get to that point in life, oh, she, she must be looking me up and down because she like what I got on. 
or she see she see a a, a woman she see um a, a woman that that's that's prospering into her into her realness okay you can't knock a woman who's looking good feeling good and that's doing good for their self since you have to stop that when you get to a place in your life where God has given you a sign and you grab something to that sign and then you start doing good for yourself and feeling good about yourself, you gonna understand that the, the next woman that's looking at you up and down, she ain't there yet. And I'm not saying there's certain, you know what I mean, there's certain ways women look you up and down and they give that look. Now there's some women, you know, they can look you up and down and that a smile like, oh, she look nice. But then, you know, they give you that look. When they give you that look, they not there yet. They not there right there. You hear me? Hey, hey, they not there right there. <laughs> and when you get to a point in life, like where I'm at, when they do stuff like that, you can just laugh. You can do a little inner laugh, you know what I mean? You don't really want to do no no laugh at them because, like I say, they're not there yet. And if you laugh at them, then that, that triggers them to do something else. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? You don't got to snap back at them because you know they're going to snap back because they're not there yet. So you do a little inner laugh in yourself or just give them a little smile. Say, hi. Say hey, how you doing? That'll break it up. You know what I mean? And then sometimes it won't. But you have to understand that every woman is not there yet. So there's going to be a lot more on this channel that I want to bring awareness to that can help some women. Because I have nieces that's not there yet. That's trying. And I think when other women see other women um, grow and that are mature and that are happy with themselves, then other women that are not can begin to think on how they can, I'm not saying copy me, but like, well, man, why I don't shine or why I got to get upset when I see other women looking good and doing good for their self. It's not that I think a part of it is people don't know how. They don't know how to do it. 